SpongeBob Seasons 1 to 3 is peak animated TV. I don't care what anyone says. It was consistently funny, creative, and almost every episode defined internet humor as we know it today. While the show's golden era is never coming back, the SpongeBob team is cooking up a few surprises. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to feast on some sequels. So, next year marks the 25th anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants existing on Nickelodeon. Regardless of what you think about the modern version of the show, this character has made the world a better place. 25 years is a wild milestone, and to celebrate, they're returning to some of the oldest stories in the show. Upcoming episode details are here, so let's dive in. In Squidward Box, Squidward takes a trip inside the Imagination Box and must rely on Spongebob and Patrick's creativity in order to escape. It's a direct continuation to the third season's Idiot Box, which also happened to air more than 20 years ago. Oh. Oh no, why do I see gray hair? In Blood is Thicker Than Grease, Plankton's family opened their own restaurant, directly next to the chum bucket. While we don't have any pictures from the episode, it's safe to assume we're following Plankton's really stupid cousins, who were introduced all the way back in Season 3's Plankton's Army. Welcome, brethren! <laughs> been away from home longer than I thought. In PL1413, Plankton travels 2,000 years into the future and finds a few unfamiliar faces. This follows in the footsteps of Season 1's legendary SB129, which just so happens to be one of my favorite episodes ever. FUTURE! Alone. Caveman Spongebob. This episode's got it all. The sequel episode is also unique because for the first time, it's focusing on Plankton. Plankton. And of course, like the original, this episode's title is a reference to its production number. Another upcoming episode is called Pet the Rock, where Patrick's new pet rock catches the eye of a mischievous rock collector that may or may not be a sequel to the Great Snail Race, but we'll have to wait and see. At the end of the day though, returning to Golden Era storylines can be hit or miss. I mean, Spongebob is a completely different show now than it was in the early 2000s, so going back to the same concepts today would not play out the same way. Still, is all of this a sign that the Spongebob team is running out of ideas? Maybe but it's also meant to be celebrating 25 years. So I guess I understand why they're going back to their roots. Either way, we are not ready for the chaos. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.